Hey guys, so this is my analysis update on gold, guys. What am I expecting on gold? Before we do today's analysis on gold, I would like to do a quick recap on gold. So if you watch my previous analysis on gold, I was predicting gold to push to the downside for a bit because we can see based on we have been pushing to the upside on gold for a while now so i was predicting some sort of like a push to the downside we can see that it's been ranking to push to the upside for a while now so my prediction was at least for it to come down a little bit to sort of like retest right a little bit to come down and give us some retest maybe around this trend line right here we can see that we had this impulse correction and i was predicting some sort of a continuation to push to my tp1 level which is my negative 27 percent fib level and also aligns with a possible touch of the trend line of the trend line as well so i was predicting some sort of like a push maybe to this right here and we can see even my negative and some percent also align with this particular zone we can see that this zone right here hasn't been retested it hasn't been retested yet so that was like a possibility for us to have the break and a retest right and i said that the way the market reacts around the trend line will determine our next move right so i was predicting some sort of like a push to the downside and i said if we continue to have like a rejection around this area or some sorts that we might continue to push to the um the upside right and you can remember well i said for us to be safe to get a continuation of the buy right we we'll at least want it to break this previous low right here give us some sort of like a higher low for confirmation before we continue to push to the upside but we can see that we continue to tank to the downside right there are different instances where we'll you guys will have entered the trade right one instance will be run around here let's see let's see how many peeps that would have been enter here to here that would have been 236 pips right that's a safe route right if i've entered right here let's see if i drag this a little bit you can see kind of like a break and retest enter right here this candlestick right here to here that's 187 pips so we are interday trader so that is like a good peep for the day right so as we can see that we tank we even eat my second tp i didn't take the second tp to be honest i just took my tp2 and sorry my tp1 and exited the market right but we can see that it actually got to even tp2 area right here and it continued to tank to the downside so now let's pre let's delete her previous analysis and let's predict um gold on the next move what is gold gonna do so we're gonna analyze gold based on the current price market let's delete this one so that the market can be so that the charts can be clean let's delete the zone i don't need that just like you know i like to the top of analysis going to the monthly time frame let's see not much right here we're still rejecting off of 27 percent fib level on the monthly time frame let's go to my weekly time frame and see so you can see on my weekly time frame is giving me the um i think we might continue to push to the downside based on that we can see that you know if you've been watching my analysis my negation seven percent is a reversal right a reversal level and i think it's given us the end pattern right here for it to tank to the downside to at least around this zone right here for a retest because if you can see that this we broke this previous break of structure with this beautiful bull candle right here and i'm seeing the end pattern right here 
which like I said is a reversal pattern so there's a possibility for it to tank a little bit to the downside to have the retest that's a possibility let's go to yeah and we can see this is the daily time frame and we can see the momentum of the cell candlestick is really beautiful right here it broke this previous counter trail line right here we can see with this beautiful engulfing candle so certainly i am predicting more to watch it downside than a right certainly we are predicting that and you can see on the daily time frame the candle is way more clear and it's beautiful cell we can see that let's go to my four hours time frame and see i'm going to delete this one so i like to make my chart as clean as it can be since that has become invalid right here i don't need those ones let's see yeah, let me see daily time frame let me draw a mini fee point a hit to point b right here let's see hmm. so as you can see right here right this this is um I'm not sure if this would be like a point B right here to draw a fib level, right? Because we haven't seen enough retracement yet. So, but I think we might retrace a little bit around that area though. So let's go to my four hour time frame and see. Mm. So what are we seeing? Let's go to my two hour time frame. My one hour time frame. Okay, let's uh, stick to my four-hour time frame just to explain a little bit better, right? So because we're pushing to, because I'm predicting more of a sell rather than a buy, right? So my first instance is we can see this impulse right here. We might correct to maybe around my 23.6% FIB level. And the reason is because we can see that that's, we have this break of structure right here with this beautiful beer candlestick right here and there is an imbalance that needs to be filled that hasn't been filled yet so that also aligns with my 23.6 percent fib level right here so there is a possibility for it to actually put to around this area right here before we continue to tank to the downside to eat our tps area around around here and then the possibility i'm saying is 38 percent fib level right here we can see we also had this it hasn't retested the strain line right here and we can see that the 38 percent fib level um aligns with my trend line we can see right here so that's a possibility as well that we might so when we get to 23.6 percent fib level let's see how the market react around that fib level area if the market start rejecting around this level and give us a beer candlestick then we know that the market is going to continue to push down around that direction right but just in case we continue to push to the upside and we have a solid be a, sorry, a solid bull candlestick around that area that shows continuation of a buy move then this has been invalid right then i'm going to wait to my 38.2 percent for level to see if it's going to push around that area reject around this area before pushing to the downside and that is how i trade basically guys you just have to be patient right analyze your trade based on how you say it then be patient and know that okay this is my first point of interest if that becomes invalid what would be my second point of interest and that is how you make things a little bit more easier for you right and also see another um, metal right here it can still push up to around my 61.8 percent fib level that is also valid right here because we can see that that hasn't been retested we can see that we broke out of that with this structure right here so this is that's how it's important for us to know market structure right we can see that we broke out of that with that market structure right there and it hasn't retested right and it also aligns with my 61.8 percent fib level so if all this my points of interest become invalid and feel right then my next point of intel for a sale would definitely be my 61.8 percent fib level and that is how we try to take you one step at a time so let's see this trend line can be valid 
Let me extend the trend line. Let's see. Okay, so that will be extended. So just like we know that if you're gonna continue to push to um the we're gonna continue to push to the downside where will be our tp area just like you know many get 27 percent fib level so if we have some sort of like a push around this area just like i said then my next area will be my negative 27 percent fib level and we can see that that aligned with the trend line right as you can see that aligned perfectly well with the trend line right there so we can have some sort of like this right here right then it might continue to push to the upside when it get there or break that as well and continue to push the downside to eat my tp area which is tp2 right which is always my 61.8 percent fib level guys so that is my thought on gold right so let's go to smaller time frame let's draw a fee bright sorry a trend line right here just to see that we can see that 38.2 percent can be a good way right we might come here touch 38.2 um give us a touch of a trend line then continue to rally to the downside just like i mentioned period right so let's just draw our instance probably something like this that runs to my first tp area right there then like i said if we continue to push to the downside right we at least wanted to break out of this trend line right here for us to have some sort of like this then we're gonna ride it to my tp2 area run around that level so let's put my price tag my first price tag certainly my negative 7 percent fib level which is three sixteen one six my tp2 is this area right here which is one seventeen one seventy so this is my quick thought on gold guys hope you guys find it helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe comment like and share and i'll see my next analysis guys thank you for watching bye